in our national, religious, and scientific research organizations dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh or Elohim and the operation of his eternal purpose, paternal plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinney, in the state of Hawaii in the year 1931. We were later on incorporated with the state of California in the year 1958. Since that time, we have established grand schools throughout the United States, Canada, Africa, and several other foreign countries. Our local grand school was established here in Kingston, Jamaica in the year 1988, and our Spanish run grand in the year 
a further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach about the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him this threefold tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh later on instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court round about. These three compartments make up one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we go about showing proof how that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. In our school, we have 10 primary constitutional aims and objectives and they are as follows. One, to help you find and know Yahweh or Elohim as he really is and actually exists. Two, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without distinction of race, nationality, creed, sex, caste, or color. Three, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, our so-called law of nature and the powers latent in man. Four, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative to religion, psychology, philosophy, and modern practical and occult science. Five, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose. And ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons, operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eight, to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith, which was once delivered to the sons or children of Yahweh. Nine, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved, save in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Ten, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah, with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watcher is peace, and our slogan is speak the truth. For this evening's spiritual lecture of the Spanish on branch idea Mar with a prayer by Dr. Desmond Hunter, scripture lesson will be taken from Acts 4, 1 to 12, and it will be read from and it will be read by Dr. Radcliffe Mitchell. Okay, let's go on to the prayer, please. Um, the prayer of Yahweh, which we give thanks to God, I was born from the study of you, as the real is and actually exist. We give thanks also for the resurrection of Yahshua the Messiah, and that he will keep us in the unity of the faith. That all when all is said and done, we are, can say that it was truly a blessing, and a pleasure to be a part of the divine vision of the future. We thank you, Yahweh, for all this, and many others, in your son, Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This afternoon's reading is Acts chapter 4, verses 1 to 10, from the King James rendering of the original scriptures. There are restorations made of our Heavenly Father's name, and that also of His only begotten Son, our Savior, and their titles, where necessary. Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 10. And as this to 12. And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Yahshua the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now evening time. How did Many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morning 
that their rulers and elders and scribes and Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and Johannes John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what means have ye done this? By what name? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is laid whole, be it known unto you all, unto all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahshua the Messiah of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him that this man stand here before you hold. This is the stone which was set up not of new builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any of them, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So ends this reading, Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel. 
Alright? Get me to see I can go up to the man most of the time for this happening. That's why you always put the law and the testimony. No, get me Luke 24, 25. 24, 25. Yeah. Then he said unto them, fools yeah. and so apart. Yes. Yeah. He was speaking this to two and wrote the mail. And he said, oh, fools and so apart. To believe all that the prophets have spoken. Yes. Oh, not Yahshua the Messiah to have suffered this. Oh, not Yahshua the Messiah to have suffered. So what did he suffer? He suffered, then they killed him. He was buried, but he resurrected. Read. And to enter into his glory. And to enter into his glory. And beginning at Moses. So the rest, Yahshua told them, beginning at Moses. And all the prophets. Yes. He exposed unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. When he said expose, expose unto them in all the scriptures. So the scriptures from Genesis to Malachi. So he expose unto all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Read. Verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words that I spake unto you while I was here with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which are written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then finally, Yahshua tells us that this word I speak unto you while I was in the flesh for 13 and a half years. What does he say? No, we're not going to this flesh otherwise. What going to happen to you when you come out of the flesh? You understand? Is he that way? Is he that way being a day? I wait in, 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 in this kingdom here, in mortality. You understand me? So what is this mortality? You see? When in this mortality, if you have Yashar Messiah in your soul, you will enjoy peace and happiness. But if you have Lucifer, you will be in the lake of fire. Read. Then open it your understanding. And that's the only way you can start to understand something about the creator, because he really is an actual exist. Read. That they might understand the scripture. Read. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. Thus it is written, and thus it behoove the Messiah yeah. to suffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that he was made to suffer. Read. And to rise from the dead the third day, mm -hmm. and that repentance and remission no, of sins. No, that repentance, the repentance means to turn away from, to repent from it. And the remission means forgiveness of sin. Must be preached in his name. It must among, be preached in this name here. Among all nations. Among all nations, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yes, you understand? No, you find that that's what is happening. You have to know this name. Can I tell you oh, can you this name? You have to know this name. Right, why is that name going here? Alright, get this now. What I'm going to do is we're going to use the King James Version. You have a couple of minutes to show some errors. But you choose the King James Version of that, right? This is the God of Jesus Christ. Are you going to be the one? You find the mother that open the Bible and put on Psalm out of the baby. And tie rent for the baby that all the things that they don't want. Take it down for me. Spirit from the baby that all the things. But empty their tradition, you understand? And superstition. You understand me? No, what you should read that superstition is Yashua the Messiah in you. You understand? Because only Yashua the Messiah can take you. It's only this. The, the pollution we find itself in, the only solution is Yashua the Messiah. You understand? Somebody say, you know, some long time I hear. Long time I hear this God has come, and long time I hear this and that. But guess what? Most of 80 years old and you're going to be Say, you know, I hear the rich 80 years. Nobody hear the rich 80 years. You understand? Me? Right? Say, you're too late for your shower. You're too late for you. And people say, no, so everything that the Bible I believe. People like to say them things. You understand? What you're going to say them all. No, did you know that the Bible says the right and a penny put it up? You can't find that because it says that they have a right and a penny put it up. You pay for that, you right and it put up it. You see, you carry the Bible literally. The Bible is a vision book, you know, by a company, by a revelation. Say, so take the person who gives the vision a revelation. You understand me? To tell you what it, it's saying. You understand me? Just like how, look here. Just like how when God gets his dream here, right? When God gets his dream here, right? You understand me? You know, I know some enemy will get his dream, but if he turns the dream, you have to give the understanding. And you have to say, you can't find this through some children, you say, even. Ah, it will appear to be a vision of revelation. Say, so it's a revelation of the teaching. You understand? Come to Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, get, get, go on, get them. Go on, get that. We can't find out what is happening. We don't have perfect vision of the people perish. And our anthem is the greatest anthem in the world. That's why you say, we've got athletics, me. You have to give to you all the way. You say, turn out the Father, bless our Lord. Give us vision of the You know, you know, you understand? Because the greatest anthem. You understand? And when you hear an anthem, yes, you can't understand the bus. Mm -hmm. But when you hear the Jamaican anthem, you understand? You hear, you know what is happening. And you know, we have that year from 1962. And 1980 to 1987. 
y'all said it's to pay the spanner of the general relation to this island, you understand? And it's a result of what? And it's y'all who said it, you understand? He said it through verses, you understand? Me? And this is a vision. And people said, what, what's important of a vision? You know, said when Yashua, when Miriam got pregnant, right? You understand me? He said, if a man, if a man be back here, if a man have a woman and she get pregnant and that's a man, they would have stoned her to death, right? And Joseph was about to stone her, but you know what came up the problem? Vision. Y'all gave a vision for revelation. And then that said everything. You understand? Long time you said Jesus is Savior. And you couldn't tell us nothing else. But you also have vision that came from everything, don't you? And then make sure show that Jesus is false. So you have to communicate through vision and revelation, you understand? And many things are not school there. And you have to show you. You understand me? Sometimes it's mad to say you have to show you some things. Well, you understand me? And your unbelief can't stop the purpose of you Well, go on, I feel. You understand me? Because you have a purpose. See here? It is Yahweh purpose manifest in this transition and age. If you don't hear today, this is your time for salvation. And what you're going to do it when you're here, that's where you're going to You understand me? So you have to make sure you lay the foundation, can say greater foundation than no man lay that is just shut inside. You understand? And the greatest thing to play to you while you're in the flesh is you have to introduce him from Joshua to you. And that keeps you to eternity. You understand? You know, you know what? Look here. You know, in a man, you know, you know the movies, you understand? Me? You watch a movie sometimes, you love to watch Western, right? And I'm going to go through the desert, right? You make sure you have enough water and enough food to keep you through the desert, to climb in the desert. No, there will come a time, you see, when there will be no physical. You have a burning, right? What will keep you through eternity? Yes. Think about it. It must be Yashua, you understand? Time is everlasting. So it's only him can keep you through eternity. So you have to use a natural kind of sign spirit. And guess what? When I'm going to be desert, if you don't have water, you must die of thirst. And that will be dry to die you. You understand me? So if you don't have the water, you will die in eternity because you will live in water as you should be said. You understand me? <laughs> Go to some people. We ask about that. You find out that? Yes. Um. Moses was the first one I named my dear father. Moses born and I did decree. Fear said all evil male children at the age of two should be king. Moses born in that time. His mother realized that he was a good child. She be an art for it. There was a mini version of this art here in Bill now. She be an art for that art to transcend Moses in the river bridge. Now fear the house come and, and wash herself at this river. Saw the art, asked her mate to fetch it out. What the art and saw Moses. Moses, sister of son and father, and him feared that and said, You want to get one of the women to nurse the child? Moses gave back to his mother. When Moses was fully grown, he's never to fear of that and broke the fear of that as well. One day, Moses came up to look at his bread in bird. He saw Egypt as smite and evil. He looked this guy that has two this and bear his son. Went back in his house, came up the other day, he saw two of his countrymen choking the head, intervened. The one who took the wrong for Moses. The one killed me like what he killed at Egypt yesterday. Now, kill Egypt and back is a Great crime. It's like killing a policeman today. He ran away to the land of Midian. Now there was a priest in Midian by the name of Jethro, a part of King James, his name is well. He had seven daughters. They used to come and watch the father sheep and go very late. You know why? Because of the earth when he was driving away. Now what he was to intercede for them and they went home early. They fast away. Oh, they come home so early. They still call Egyptian help us. Now most was an Egyptian now, but they could run away the Egyptian and close it. The father said, bring the man that you may be afraid of. So when for most, most was content to do it. Um, Jethro. Jethro gave me seven dogs. I said, poor, and become a shepherd, so I smiled and uh, sheep. Now one day when Moses was at the backside of Mount Sinai, he saw on the side. He saw bush burning, but bush was not consumed. You know, where we are talking? He said, I get out of the edges, right? I get out of the edges. I get out of the edges. I get out of the edges. After ten minutes, it's ashes. After ten minutes, it's not like that. But that's not what happened to this bush. This bush was ever burning. Find the bush and the bush still green and pretty. In other words, it was, it was appreciating that vision and a red bush. That's what really happened. You understand me? So that's the way Yahweh is going to give, give him the name. Now the King James Version. You understand? He gave him a name. 
And in nearly kicking your version, I said, Give me this last bag. So we're going to find out what is happening. So get next to us three and one, then go. You know the first. Exodus 3 and 1. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro's father in law, the mm -hmm. prince of Midian, and he led the flock on the back side of the desert mm -hmm. and came unto the mountain of God. Came to the mountain of God. Even to Horeb. Even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in flame of fire out right. of the midst of a bush. Of midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside to see this great sight, why the bush is burned, but the, why the bush is not burned, why the bush does not burn. Yes. And when Yahweh, when the Lord saw that he when the Lord saw to see, turn aside to see, God called God unto him, and him was a bush. bush. So if that bush is the Lord, is that bush is God, and is the angel in the bush. So that must be a busy bush. Communicating to one man, Moses, right? And said, Moses, Moses. And, and he listen, said, he never man. said Amen. He called him by name, and he is important. So he said, Moses, I'm forgetting the name again. He said, Moses. Read. And he said, Here am I. Yeah. And he said, Draw not thy hither, put up thy shoes from off thy feet, yeah. for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Yeah. Verse 10. Come now, therefore, now. So why did the Lord appear unto him? Why did the Lord appear to him and come to Egypt? He is to send him back down to Egypt. So he said, Come down. Come now. And I will send thee unto Pharaoh, yes. that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Yes. And Moses said unto God. Now Moses speak to God. No, you know what I'm saying? They said, God, above the sun, moon, and star. The sun is 93 million miles away from the earth. But when does the Moses move yet? In the pan earth, same way. And some are talking to God. Read. Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? Mm -hmm. And that I should bring for the children of Israel out of Egypt? Mm -hmm. And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and he shall be a token unto thee. A token is a sign. That I have sent thee. When thou hast gone forth the people of Egypt, we shall serve God upon this mountain. Yeah. And Moses said unto God, Behold, yeah. When I come unto the children of Israel, and yes. they shall and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto yes. you, they shall say to me, What, what is, is his name? name? What shall I say? Say that says that God is not a name. Says that God, what's your name? And listen. Read. And he said, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. No, that makes any sense. Moses asked God if you're a name, right? And he said, God said at the time. That's not a name. And if you say, I am the time, that means it's a very bush, that's a Moses style man. But Yahweh is everything. He's substance of all things. Read. And God said, more unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. No. It, it marks your name. So we investigate that statement, because it's a school of research, right? He said the name is the Lord God. Now in English you have three articles. You have T-H-A-G-O-B-O-F-O-R-E titles. You have A-N-G-O-B-O-F-O-R-E 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 titles. You have so from the Lord, it's not a need. And it's still true on all generations. Now we are a generation on the face of the earth. So we're supposed to use it that name. And we and it's eternity. Eternity is everlasting, does it? So we're supposed to use it that name. Now we're going to Exodus 6, 2 and 3. Exodus. Mr. Mitchell, why you get who got it? Psalm 60, 96. Yeah. Right hand of thing. No, no, it's all right. It's all cool. Let's get some Psalm 96. Exodus 6 and 2, and God spake unto Moses and said unto him, yeah. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. And I have prayed unto Abraham, yes. unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God by Almighty. By the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah. By my name Jehovah, I know today. No. Lord is a type of God is a type of Jehovah is a name. But Jehovah is a false name. Why? Because see this letter J is approximately 400 years old. You see by the approximately 2,000 years ago, the passive name is Jehovah or Jesus. We look for Job in a good dictionary. Look, people have smartphone now. Go up on the net. Look for Job and say, see original Yahweh. You understand? So Job is also a false. And Job are with this. We don't know if you have that good thing. But Job are with this and make that. You understand? That name. You understand? Now get the Psalm 68 and 4. Psalm 68 and 4. 
sing praises unto God. Sing yeah. praises to his name. I want to make money in this trip. Extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name Jah. By his name Jah. That is a false name also because that's what the Rasta man said, Jarastafari and I and I and I. Do you understand me? But it's not I and I, it's Y and Y. You understand? His true name is Yashua the Messiah. Alright. Get me who God is now. Psalm 96 and 5 now. Yes, Psalm 96 verse 5. Yeah. It says, for all the gods of the no. nation. People say, you know, you have no mother say, you must have reverence to God enough. You understand me? Yeah? And guess what? So when you hear God now, you, you kind of get the reverence. Mm. But who God is? We have Psalm 96 verse 5. Psalm 96 and 5. King James Rendy. Yeah. For all the gods of the nations are idols. He said, all the gods of the nations are idols. But the they're Almighty they're made the But they're they're listen to this now. When they show the pastor this now, we are calling him pastors. Yeah. They say, when they say the God of the G, is the Almighty. I want to see that common G is anything to worship. But that, the Bible doesn't say that. He said, all gods. Then when he preach, he said, and go, ho, 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 First Chronicles, and then you hear what you always say. He says, Psalm 1 John 5 and 21. He says, My little children, keep yourselves from idols. Because you can't do the worship Lord God and Jesus Christ is idol worshiping, you're going to end up in the lake of fire. You understand me? So when Yahshua introduced himself to him and pulled you out of the fire. Read. First Chronicles 16 26. For all the gods of the people. All right. All the gods of the people are idols. But the Almighty made the heaven. But, but Yahweh made the heaven. Now watch this. You know there's a, there's a no lies in the book. And some people so that said to that people can not understand. So no one they must got it, right? Can I read that from the Bible? First John 5 and 22. Read. First John 5. Yes. It's a valley of children keep herself from idols. Yeah. Verse 21. Yeah. Little children. Little children. Keep yourself keep from idols. Idol. So we have to take it from the idols here, right? First, no, John 1 and 18. John 1 and 18. Yeah. In the beginning was the word. No man. John 1, no man. No man has seen God at any time. No man has seen God at any time. No man has seen God at any time. Know so that kind of book, right? Then first John 4 and 12 says, No man has seen God at any time. Right? No, get me this now. Exodus 24, 9 and 10. Now that's where you find Matthew, where it says, Pure and I shall see. Matthew 5, verse 2. Yeah. All right. Exodus 24, 9 and 10. So two places no man ever see God yet, right? Read. You yeah. see? Read. Then went up Moses. Then went up Moses, one man. Aaron. Aaron. Nadab. And the Bible. That's four men. And 70 of the elders. That's 74 right? men. And they saw the God of Israel. And they saw God. No, we have to reason now. You have to just reason again. One part of the book said no man never see God. Mm -hmm. And it's past the 74 bed, sir. Where you reconcile that? Mm -hmm. You can't even now use the true name and type of it. No, get me matter of five and eight. That's what it is. five and eight. Yeah? Blessed are the pure in heart. It's a blessed are the pure in heart. Yeah? And they shall see God. You shall, they, they shall see God. No, so, 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 you see now? <laughs> No, it's a two part or you can't. No, we are believe what Yahweh said. We are believe what the Creator said. Him saying, you pure not, you'll see. Him. And that's why, I'm, if you pure not, you will see Yahshua in this side. It will appear to you. If you pure not. You understand me? No, what happened? What, what this discrepancy in the book? Is because we are the book was tampered with. And what happened? King James authorized part of it. If you read, if you don't be straight up where I'm part. If you, if you translate the book, from the Hebrew manuscript to English. It translated a whole time, see, but to English, right, the English version, right? And watch this. When those translators see Yahweh, they put God and sometimes they put God. When they see Elohim, they put God. When they see Yahshua, they say they put Jesus Christ. Pass down to and change it. But look here, when you read the King James Version of the Bible, it's a King James translated. No translate me to change. But you can't change name. They can prove that to you. All the good words are you saying, don't you? No one got fast on and around, right? They, they speak a different language, Chinese, right? Are you, you know what? And I do that. You, 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 have, to, you have to speak to the Batar for them language. And we, we listen to English and listen to Spanish. No, they must say, who would ask that or something? Whatever you see in the world, you say, you see in the world, in a Spanish China, 
Chinese are what? Mm. Same thing in English because she name can't change. No, when Fidel has to come at Jamaica, when he must have died, Fidel means faithful. They must have faithful person and it's a Fidel because when he not change. So when you pass through, I want to go to a different country, I want to go to a different speaking country, language country, it not change name. Even when a man dead, you know Michael Mandel dead? Where name? Michael Mandel. No, say no change name. So name, so don't let them trick you say, hear them now. You know what say? You know say Peter is Pedro. Is Pedro in, in, in Spanish and Peter in English. Listen, is Pedro in Spanish? And Pedro in English though. <laughs> you hear me telling you? Don't let them trick you. But how we have it, you know this one this deceived? Revelation 12 hours. All of us deceived. <laughs> Yeah. Revelation, yeah. chapter 12, verse 1. Verse 1. So we always said this divine vision of Revelation 2 is undeceived. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. You know, you know, you know, look here. You know people say, that my grandmother died, right? Mm -hmm. my mother. You know you see your grandmother again? I said, no. Because flesh and blood can't the kingdom of faith. So what is that? What happened? You know, Pete, look here. There was a time when there was no flesh in And you have to take him for the bigness. So there was a time when we went coming and there was no flesh. Go back to you, come on the spirit, soul and body. Go back to your soul and you have the soul to save business. So go back to your soul. And watch here, look here. Yeah. You see Jamaica is one of the most murderous countries in the world. So we have no funeral go on, you understand? And you go to funeral, right? Like, a man dead. And when he dead, then I buried till all a month after a tree. That time the spirit got a long time. And the pastor can die to you when you're alive, and he died to you when you're here. I said enough John to heaven. <laughs> that I went said, don't it? And you will see John had... Listen, if I said John to heaven, you put him on earth, six foot six. So the flesh on the earth, where the soul is? The soul gone, think me. If you have to go back to the spirit, and you don't want to stay the soul, you know? Think about it. Think about it a little bit. What about to you? <coughs> Read. Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 and onward. Mm -hmm. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with a star. That's where it said. Yeah, yeah, really. he said what? I want a piece of it. The whole world of this. Oh, what? Right. Verse 10, no, no. Yeah. Listen. And Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was born in heaven. You, you see, everybody wants to hear don't you? Mm -hmm. So you have a bit of sense and you know about this. You say, what do you want to hear? I want to see a star of falling, which they are going to hear, right? Right? But yeah, because we have to go there. Read. Michael and his angels fought but against the dragon. He said he was born in heaven. But then he was his past tense. And Yahweh yeah, kicked out that devil. Read. And the dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed not. Neither was their place. Neither was their place Please. found anymore in heaven. Yeah. And the great dragon yeah. was cast out. To the earth. That old serpent. You see my name that old serpent. Called the devil. Called the devil. And, Satan, and Satan. And Satan. Which deceived the, the whole world. And the whole world into the pastor. Mm -hmm. Into you are the pastor. And deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the he, earth. He was cast out into the, the unfinished earth. And his angels were cast out with him. A man taken from the dust of the earth. Send in a man. You understand me? That's why Yahweh cast demons out. Yahshua cast demons out of a man. You understand? Send in a man. Right? And remember, they might try to look at free ride back to him, but it has happened. Because when you have to lose one of your soul that are going to live, but your soul is going to die here. Now nah, go back to the earth. Right? That's why it's fine. Try to get the papers for in the morning. All right. So we, 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 we show them things, we show them this curve and see. We show what happened, what I believe in thing, right? But when I like this, you know, you're showing them inside. So he will introduce to you. So we use the King name version, so I go to the holy name now. I will call it the holy name because the holy name is our name. And that's the one is holy, that's you're showing them inside. Exodus chapter 2, verse 10. Come now, therefore. And I will send thee out of Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. 
Exodus 3 verse 13. And Moses said unto Elohim, Now Elohim is where thou son, and the cruel is the type of father truth himself. Read. Behold, Lo. when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, mm -hmm. The Elohim of your fathers that sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, yeah. What is his name? Yeah. What shall I say unto them? Yeah. And Elohim said unto Moses, I am Asher Ayah. He gave his characteristics first. Ayah, Asher Ayah. Read. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, yeah. I will be, and sent me unto you. Yeah. Verse 15 of Exodus 3. And Elohim said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh. Yahweh, no, Yahweh is spirit. Now when you ask the past who God is inside God's spirit, there's no spirit inside God, he doesn't answer you. Now what is spirit? Spirit is the universal source, the substance, the living and bone of everything, it abides in everything and everything in life. That is spirit, the substance of all things. Read. The, Elo the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, mm -hmm. the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob hath sent me unto you. This is, is my name forever. forever. Yes. And this is my memorial unto all and generations. All generations. I sent him to Exodus 6 verse 3. Exodus 6 verse 2. And Elohim spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am Yahweh. Says so him stick to his name, I am Yahweh. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, as El Shaddai, but by my name Yahweh, was I not known to them. El Shaddai, not my provider. Read. Read. Psalm 68 and 4. Psalm 68 verse 4. Sing unto Elohim. Sing unto Elohim. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Yahweh. By his name Yahweh, that shot in part of Yahweh. By his name Yahweh, that I praise Hallelujah. Yeah, and the Lord will praises. Hallelujah, will praises to Yahweh. And rejoice before him. And rejoice before him. Alright, Matthew 1, 21. And so when, when, when you see that, come use the tune you man type and you see restore about the essence of what is happening. Mm -hmm. Right? Read. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Yeah. And she shall be before him. That's where we are here. She shall be before him. Ask on me one song. And thou shalt and call thou his shalt name. Call name Yahweh. Yeah, sure. sure. For he shall save his people from their sins. That's why the name Yahshua is. Verse 25. Verse 25. And uh, Joseph knew his wife. Yeah. Not till he had knew not his wife till he had brought she had brought forth her firstborn. Alright, what really happened? And he called his name Yahshua. Alright. The word is big over Shadow Miriam. You understand me? Just, and nothing new because Yahweh impregnated the world, impregnated the world of earth. You understand me? So that's what nothing impregnation. 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 I go. You understand me? Alright. You get me? Somebody say, What's my name? Somebody say, I want to ask his name. So. And the name is the Lord of Salvation. John 3 6. For Yahweh so loved the world. Now, Yahweh so loved the world to me, man. That he gave, that he gave his only begotten son. His only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him yeah. should not perish, yes. but have everlasting life. Yes. For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yes. He that believeth on him. He that believeth on Yahshua is not, is condemned. not condemned. But he that believeth on Yahshua is condemned. Is condemned. Yes, we are condemned for not knowing the name. Because yes. he hath not believed in the name, in the name of the Holy Son. I have the name of the Holy Begotten Son. John 3, verse 19. And this is and the condemnation. This is condemnation. You are not believing in the name. This is condemnation. That light, that light is, is, that is the light of the world. Into the world. It's coming to the world. A man of darkness rather than light. Like 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 this way we are condemned for. It's not going to be the name. And that's why you are revealing the name back here. And you reveal the name right through dispensation and ages. And the name never left this creation. Never. Alright. Acts, the scripture list. Acts, chapter from two. verse 7. Verse 7 and onwards. Yeah. 7. 
that's really, really simple. Uh, and when they had set them in the midst, they keep that preaching in. You understand me? So they 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 get upset when they're preaching in the ashram and preach resurrection. So they set them in the midst. They are. Yes. By what? But there was a man by his gate beautiful. What really happened? There was this man by his gate beautiful, an impotent man. Can't walk and empty. I saw Peter and John coming. I said, beg them silver and beg them some arms. And Peter said, look at us. Silver and gold, we don't have it. But what we have, that we give it these. In the name of Yahshua, and he take the man by the right hand. Right. In the name of Yahshua, walk, wise man walk, and it, it healed them. You understand? Because there's power in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. There's power in the name of the gospel. There's power in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. So you find that, look here. You know there was a time Yahshua walk, walk around. You understand? And you find that you have a friend named Lazarus. And to be the friend of Yahshua, the Messiah, have to do the things that you have to be here. And he said, oh, he might walk on the side of him. And he said, our friend Lazarus sleep it. They said, Yahshua must sleep on the way. Because he sleep too. Yahshua says there. You understand? But Yahshua says some things. He said, listen, I'm glad I wasn't here. That he can see the glory of Yahweh. And he reached out too. You understand? He said, Yahshua. He said, Yahshua, the man, that was dead four days. You understand me? Yahshua, that man. That man up to Yahshua. They call mankind dead four thousand years. You understand me? So you find him tell him, say, it's a weird leaf. Then he can talk, he start talking to Martha. Read from this. Verse 34 mm-hmm. of John 11. John 11. And Yahshua said, where have he laid? No, one we should talk to him and say I am the resurrection. Yeah. Oh, all right. That was uh, verse, verse uh, 22. So Yahshua, Yahshua said unto Martha, yeah. Thy brother shall rise again. Yeah, thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, Yes. I know that he I shall rise again in the, in, the, uh, in the last in the resurrection. In the resurrection the at last. the last day. Yes. Yahshua said unto her, yeah. I am the resurrection. Yahshua said, and we say. Yahshua said, I am, that will be. I am the resurrection and the life. And the life. Yes. He that believeth in me. He that believeth in me. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. Are we dead and Adam? So I said, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yeah, but I come that you have life after life, you are born and live. So I said, though he were dead, yet shall you live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me. And whosoever liveth and believeth that report shall never, shall die. never die. You believe that? Believe so you believe this. So this. You believe that? Think about it. Then you shall never die. Read. She saith unto him, Yea, Rabbi. I believe. Yeah. I believe that thou art the Messiah. Yes. The Son of Yahweh. And that's eternal life. Which you should believe come that you yeah. into the world. Yes. And when she had so said, mm-hmm. she went her way yes. and called Miriam, yes. her sister. Read. Secretly saying, yeah. The Master is come. Yes. And calleth for thee. Read. As soon as she heard that, yeah. She arose quickly. She arose quickly. And came unto him. Yeah. Now Yahshua was not yet come into the town. Yeah, he never reached that town. Read. But was in that part yeah. where Martha met him. Read. And the Israelites, then which were with her in the house, uh, com- comforted her when they saw Miriam, that she rose up hastily and went. You see, I can't went to him. You see, because they she rose up, or they say she had by the tomb of the, the weak, but they don't know what happened. Followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Mm-hmm. Then when Miriam was come to where Yahshua was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Rabbi, if thou hadst been here, yeah. That my brother had not that. So she tells it, Yasha. She said, if the was been there, thy brother would not die. <laughs> and if Yasha in you, you cannot die. You know, what's going to explain that? When I talk, say, they're not saying your body got the dove crack and some here. But the soul cannot die if Yasha in your soul. That's what I'm talking about. Read. Yes. John chapter 11, verse 33. When Yasha therefore saw her weeping, 
yeah. and the Jews or yeah. Israelites yeah. also weeping, mm -hmm. which came with him. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he groaned, he groaned in, in, his said, spirit, yeah, in his spirit and was troubled yeah. and said, Where have you laid? Where are you laid? They said unto him, Rabbi, yeah. come and see. Yes. Yahshua wept. And Yahshua wept. Do you understand? Read Then said the Israelites, yeah. Behold, how he loved him. Yeah, I must say that. Oh, he loved him. And Read. some of them said, Chan could not be smiled. But, yeah. Which opened the eyes said, of the blind. Yes, he said, let's see what Yahshua do. Of he course. said, don't believe me, believe me the words, you know, so let's see. They said this man will walk their height and do them great miracles. Could he even have raised this man from the dead? Of course, that even this man should yeah. not have died. Read. Yahshua therefore, again, yeah. groaning in himself, yeah. coming to the grave. Yeah. It was a cave. Yeah. And a stone lay yeah. upon it. Yeah. Yahshua said, take ye away the stone. That's where you need to take away the carnality. You need to take, you need to take the carnal by from you. And your mind, and your heart has to be Martha, the sister of him, yeah. that was there, yeah. said unto him, Rabbi, yeah. by this time he is dead. Yeah. That's a, you see? For he has been dead four days. Yeah. But there is nothing possible with Yahshua, Messiah. Yahshua said unto him, yeah. said I not unto thee, move this to